guys, it's Sarah from Just Cuts by Sarah. Today I want to show you my design team project for my, um, my fairy treasures. And I'll leave the link below to this gorgeous charm shop. Sorry, I'm playing with the camera. Um, I made this tag. Um, I have, You'll see the design team package one. And it's a fantastic charm shop. And she stocks oh, amazing metal. I've been onto this store and it's just absolute beautiful stuff so basically um, what I've done is um, I've used the metal from the store so I've got this one right here that camera is blurry still sorry guys it's like not focusing very well today okay so this is the piece that I've used and as you can see it's a little piece absolute gorgeous I've also used this piece here and the amazing thing was, um, when I got this piece, my um, nan was over and my mum over the house. And I look at this as a flower or as like that shape, right? My nan looks at it and goes, oh, that's a nice butterfly. Who would have thunked it? So um, you will see on the project, I've used this butterfly. Um, and a key. Gorgeous little key. I tried to use as much metal as I could, um, and if I could shove it on, I did. Okay, so I'll zoom in again, and hopefully it won't blur. Okay. So basically what I've done is I've used um, one of those Prima Doll tags. Um, I might just hold it up. And um, I basically just tore some Prima. Actually, this tag is also for... Um, it's my DT, but it's also for um, Create Exchange, my Facebook group. I'm actually the only admin now, scary. Um, and basically, um, this month's swap was Easter or Butterflies and Flowers. So I went the Butterflies and Flowers route because I didn't have anything Easter. So this is my tag. And my swap partner is Dawn Haskett. Hey, Dawn. Um, so basically what I did was um, she liked shabby stuff, so I went with the shabby theme. So um, basically what I've done is I've distressed the papers um, and I used um, Romance Novel Prima and I've done some stamping with my Bow Bunny stamps as you can see in the background there and I also used this gorgeous mask, I don't know if I can quickly find it for you guys and you know me and butterflies, like I, I have everything butterflies and I just really loved it so I used this, it's by Clear Scraps and I used the butterflies on it so that's on the tag in the background um, and I had these gorgeous um, appliques that I had got from Scrap With Friends, the place that I um, did the classes for at the expo and um, I coloured them using some glimmer mist and I laid another doily over the top so I just wanted these sort of flourishing out and then this over the top so I just aged it a bit because um, it was white and made it like a creamy colour um, and this frame underneath and I laid a frame. Uh, I think it's a Martha Stewart. I actually um, won a giveaway uh, oh, a long, long time ago by Barb Mentahu, who's Why Don't You Create on YouTube. And um, they, she was giving away these, um, like, done already, and they were white. And I got some butterflies and some leaves and stuff. So she'd sent me this frame. So I used that, and I went over it with Glimmer Mist and Rub and Buff. And, oh, well, it's Inca Gold, but I call it Rub and Buff. And then I used this gorgeous Diamond Dyes Butterfly over the top, which I've layered the two, so it, the wings pop out. Here's that gorgeous metal. So that's that butterfly one that I've bent up. And then in the middle I layered some a uh, little flower from my stash and um, a pearl in the middle. And then on the sides I layered those, those circles. So there's one here and there's one on the other side. Okay, so that's the, that piece there. Okay, so I got two of each. So basically what I did then was I just started clustering. So I've got um, up here these gorgeous little puffy things. And then I've got my roses. And then I had cut that metal piece, that butterfly. Um, and I used it as a leaf up here. So it's poking out. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. So it's poking out here and here. And then I've got all my flowers. And then I use this gorgeous um, dye that I've got by Memory Box. And then down here I've clustered again. All the flowers I've gone over with Inca, that Inca Gold over the edges. And then that white uh, cream puffy thing. Um, and um, some Prima flowers. More flowers from my stash. And then 
down here I've used that leaf idea again so I cut it and create a leaf and then I dangled a key off the leaf just to give it some interest and some movement I like that in my projects so I just wanted it to be pretty and a bit mixed media -y and just a bit different and basically um, the clip is to do with the back so um, and then this is just some seam binding at the top for the hole and then the back I kept it pretty simple okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually um, recently got some business cards made up so what I'm gonna do is I created that pocket to put my business card in I'll just quickly show you guys it's nothing it's real exciting but um, I'd actually got them for the show and they came the day after the show was finished always my luck they were meant to come quickly and they didn't so um, that was that so I'm going to put that in the back but then I've also put this clip on which I went over with alcohol ink and that ink of gold and as you can see those butterflies and that torn paper and the stamping a bit better and my handmade by Sarah stamp that mum got and then I've used this pocket from the romance novel I think it was from the 12 by 12s um, that I'd got from Chris Lim thank you Chris and um, basically what I've done is I've cut another one of the papers from the collection and it's just a telegram and I was going to write a little note to Dawn on it and I put like a little um, paper clip and this is meant to be like a post stamp and then I'll also put one of my little cards inside of it and the great thing is about that that I just clip it in and then the clip keeps it closed but I don't know yet I might still put some string in a little brad and keep it shut like that but I love how this turned out and um, I love this store so be sure to go check out Fairy Treasures I'll leave the link below and um, I know that recently they've got in some new stock of laces some doilies and um, also die cuts so that's pretty exciting so be sure to go check it out and I will send you I will leave the link below and um, I'll see you all later bye